Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Brothers and sisters, today is the 25th day of our consecration. We begin this day with the prayer. Queen of heaven, rejoice. Hallelujah. For he whom you did merit to bear Hallelujah. has risen as he said. Hallelujah. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary. Hallelujah. For the Lord has risen indeed. Hallelujah. Pray to God for us. Hallelujah. Let us pray. O God, who gave joy to the world through the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, grant that we may obtain through his virgin mother Mary the joys of everlasting life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Consecration to Mary, Mother of God, my Queen and my Mother, I give myself entirely to you and to show my devotion to you, I consecrate you this day, my eyes, my ears, my mouth, my heart, my whole being, without reserve. Therefore, good mother, as I am your own, keep and guard me as your property and possession. Amen. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to you, brothers and sisters. Today is the 25th day of our consecration to Jesus through our Blessed Mother. Mary's Retreat Day. Yesterday, we began a retreat within our retreat by joining Mary's Retreat. In other words, we began to ponder the ways that Jesus prepared Mary to understand and fully embrace her new motherly role in the Kingdom of God. Today, we continue this retreat at the wedding feast of Cana of Galilee, where Mary's motherly mediation gloriously shined forth let us review the scene. Chapter of uh, Gospel of John, chapter 2, verses 1 to 12. The mother of Jesus is at a wedding feast at Cana of Galilee, and Jesus and his disciples are also invited, presumably because of our blessed mother Mary. The wine runs short. Mary notices this and brings it to the attention of her son Jesus. They have no wine. Jesus seems to rebuke her. Woman, what have you to do with, the, with me? My hour has not yet come. Mary nevertheless tells the servants, do whatever he tells you. The servants follow Jesus' orders to fill the stone jars with water. Then the water becomes wine and the disciples believe. Let us now ponder deeply St. John Paul's commentary on this scene. His words get to the heart of Mary's role in our lives and explain why we should be seeking to consecrate ourselves to our blessed mother Mary. Cana of Galilee clearly outlines the new dimension the new meaning of Mary's motherhood. It is a new kind of motherhood according to the spirit and not just according to the flesh. That is to say, Mary's 
solicitude for human beings her coming to them in the wide variety of their wants their needs at cana in galilee there is shown only one aspect of human need apparently a small one of little importance they have no wine but it has a symbolic value this coming to the aid of human needs means at the same time bringing those needs within the radius of Christ messianic mission and the salvific power thus there is a mediation Mary places herself between her son and the mankind in the reality of their wants and needs and sufferings she put herself in the middle that is to say she acts as a mediatrix not as an outsider but in her position as mother she knows that as such a as such she can put out to her son the needs of mankind and in fact she has the right to do so her mediation is thus in the nature of intercession mary intercedes for mankind mary intercedes for us and that is not all as a mother she also wishes the messianic power of her son jesus to be manifested that the salvific or redeeming power of his which is meant to help man in his misfortunes to free him from evil which in various forms and degrees weighs heavily upon his life another essential element of mary's maternal task is found in her words to the servants do whatever he tells you the mother of christ present herself as the spokeswoman of her son's will pointing out those things which must be done so that the redeeming power of the messiah may be manifested at cana thanks to the intercession of mary our mother and the obedience of the servants jesus begins his hour at cana mary appears as believing jesus her faith evokes his first sign and help us to kindle the faith of the disciple and helps to kindle the faith of the disciples the episode at cana in galilee offers us a sort of first announcement of mary's mediation completely oriented towards christ and tending to the revelation of his salvific power i would like to highlight a few important points from his from this passage for us to ponder first not by necessity but by god's choice the handmaid of the lord who does the father's will perfectly as a right as mother and mediatrix to point out to her son the needs of mankind shouldn't we how recourse to such a powerful mother of mercy with regard to our own needs and intentions second mary needs servants who will obey her words do whatever he tells you are we ready 
to be her servants so jesus can begin his hour in our day and the third it is clear from the words do whatever he tells you that many so he is completely oriented towards christ and tends to the revelation of his saving power Mary's mediation therefore is uh, is in union with and subordinate to the mediation of Jesus Christ our savior and lord today's prayer come holy spirit living in mary remind me to ask for mary's powerful intercession in my times of need and necessity let us pray o most blessed mother heart of love heart of mercy ever listening caring consoling hear our prayer as your children we implore your intercession with jesus your son receive with understanding and compassion the petitions we place before you today especially brothers and sisters we bring all our special intentions we remember all our loved ones we remember all those who celebrate birthdays anniversaries special events we remember all those who ask our prayers especially the sick and the poor and all those who make these days of consecration may all of you be blessed your prayers may be heard we are comforted in knowing your heart is ever open to those who ask for your prayer we trust your gentle care and intercession those whom we love those who are sick or lonely or hurting help all of us holy mother to bear our burdens in this life until we may share eternal life and peace with god our father forever amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you and blessed are you among women and bless is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen immaculate heart of mary pray for us most sacred heart of jesus have mercy on us most precious blood of jesus protect us and may the blessing of almighty god descend upon each one of you and remain with you forever the father the son and the holy spirit brothers and sisters may the lord bless you and keep you and protect you and thank you today for joining with us